Hello Kev Edward Sim Rally here, uh, welcome back to another video, this is just a quick one, a quick update on how the real rallying is going, um, probably noticed I haven't been doing as many videos lately, that's cause, uh, partly because I'm trying to prep up um, uh, and get the car properly up and ready and uh, just get a few little extra bits, bought these absolutely uh, atrocious looking bad boys today yeah, I wasn't going to bother with shoes but um, I thought I'd better that just in case there's any issues uh, just in case I've read the rules wrong and they do make you uh, uh, wear fireproof shoes I'm pretty sure they don't but I thought just get them just to be on the safe side um, and hopefully it'll help with like scrutiny and stuff if they see got all the gear they might leave me alone because I'm panicking a little bit about scrutiny and um i've got no reason to but it's just i've just i've got this horrible feeling that uh, i'm going to get down there and they'll find something wrong with the car um so that's just kind of first event nerves i think um so i'll just make a note i've just tried these as well um like just to see what they were like on the rig and there was no grip at all on the metal pedals i had to take them off in the end uh, so if you're looking at getting a pair of these for sim racing m maybe think twice i don't know maybe it's just this particular model i don't know if you can see thingy should be all right rubber on rubber with me um with me thingy pedals on the actual car but on the t3 pas it really just didn't work at all it was just it was sliding off so something to be wary about if you're after racing shoes for sim racing um uh what else so i uh, i am actually booked on to my first event which is uh to tour of querwent it's going to be called um so yeah all booked on ready to go uh, all signed up this is the entry list uh, seeded well this is uh, unseeded so 56 me and jan going for it in class three in uh in the full puma so got some stiff competition some uh like a normal escort there a gabber uh, we've got a talbot sunbeam uh mainly mark two escorts though mark two escort there mark two escort there um a Darien T90, which I imagine is just going to blow us all away. Uh, another Mark II Escort. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. Really tough. Um, and I'll just be wanting to get through without, like, without destroying the car as well. Um, so, yeah, nearly there with prep. Just need wheels and maybe a couple of more tyres. I'm still trying to decide what to do with tyres. Uh, whenever to go for um get some more spare tires or not um so yeah i'm ru i'm i keep running out of money <laughs> uh, so yeah that's just a quick update uh 29th of march it's going to be so it's about five weeks away so i've still got plenty of time to get any last little bit of uh, prep and stuff uh no spectators apparently because it's a, it's a military base which is a bit of a shame so It'll probably just be me and Jan going down there. Um, hopefully getting the job done. Try and get some footage. Try and get as much footage as I can. But uh, they're quite funny with onboards apparently. With it being a military base. And a GoPro is bottom of the list. For stuff that I need to buy at the minute. So I can't really afford a GoPro. Um, I've got more important bits that I need to get. Before I can think about anything like that. Um, but yeah. Uh, quick update um yeah so i'll hopefully i'll get some videos out i've got some stream i've not even really been on richard burns at, at all last week or so just getting an hour maybe here and there maybe probably about an hour and a half worth of gaming i've played this week 
Uh, and I've got leagues, VRC and RBR Pro coming up as well, so I really need to get practice in. Hopefully I'll be live streaming them soon anyway. So yeah, uh, that's it for now. Quick one. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.